get to our top story. Colleen ISD is moving to a phone free zone this upcoming school year. Big news here. Middle and high school students will be required to keep cell phones in a locked pouch. Well, the $500,000 change is receiving praise and pushback from parents. Six News reporter Sydney Deshawn spoke with parents and breaks down how the process will work. Sydney? Chris and Lindsay, parents are sharply divided on Colleen ISD's decision. Some are worried about communicating with their children in case of an emergency. Others are pleased, saying students are way too glued to their phones. Under this plan, students at all secondary campuses will have to place their devices in a locked pouch when they get to school. While students keep their phone on them, it will stay locked until the end of the day. If they need to use it, they must get permission and enter a designated phone zone where they can tap their pouch on an unlocking base. Tiffany Roy is a Colleen ISD teacher and mom of four and believes this change will help cut down on disruptive behavior. I purchase their cell phones, I pay the bills, but I do not send them to school to be on their devices. I send them to school to learn. Education is the key to success, and once we can rise above and make, you know, be on one accord, make the same decision, I really feel like our children and the next generation coming forth will be amazing. Just remember how amazing we were as kids when we didn't have cell phones. Now, Colleen ISD says other school districts like La Vega ISD in Waco and Richardson ISD have made the switch already, and they've seen dramatic improvements in the classroom. Tonight at 6, we will hear from the district directly and what they want parents to know. Guys. Yeah, sign of the times, Sydney. Of course, my high school, my freshman year until they got rid of it, had a smoking section, if you can believe that. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Okay, that really Things takes Things have changed back. a lot. Yes. I know. I know. All right, Sydney, thank you.